Hi, welcome, welcome to another vlog. Um, it's Friday afternoon, and what am I doing on a Friday afternoon? You ask. I am getting ready to go out so that I can sit and work. Yeah, that's all I do. I know, <laughs> but that's what I'm doing. And I want to tell you that recently I have been trying to challenge my anxiety. So how am I doing that? Um, is um yeah so i get anxiety if there's a lot of notification on my phone so what i do is um uh as soon as i get a notification i have to read the message i have to delete the message so that's what i do and if i don't do that i get anxiety i think i already told you i'm always like real time deleting messages deleting everything so i am challenging my anxiety by keeping the notification and keeping the messages yeah i'm trying my best not to delete messages because um like if i don't delete it i get anxiety so i'm trying not to delete it and be dis be uncomfortable sit with the discomfort <laughs> you know like i'm trying to sit with the discomfort and not delete the messages so i'm like challenging myself and yesterday i went out for a walk and i took my ear pods with me I was uh, wearing the ear pods and I didn't take the box, you know, the box of the ear pods. And if it was under normal circumstances, uh, I would have got really bad anxiety and I would have come back home to take the box because it's really important for me to carry the box along with the ear pods. But what I did is I didn't go back. <laughs> yeah, I went for the walk, continued walking with the ear pods on my ears without the box. I know things are getting really <laughs> exciting, uh, but yeah, uh, that's act that actually gives me anxiety, and I wanted to challenge my anxiety by doing something which is uncomfortable for me and sitting with the uncomfortable feeling and letting it pass. So that's what I'm doing. I'm not deleting. I am challenging my anxiety every single time. And the other day it was raining, and it was around. Uh, 6 30 or 7 o'clock and i was somewhere far away and uh, under normal circumstances i would have wait uh, i would wait for the bus to come and come back in the bus because i'm scared of traveling alone at night in um in cab or auto or anything but what i did is i challenged my anxiety i challenged myself and i took an auto and i came back home at that time yeah so that's what I've been doing these days. I'm challenging my anxiety. But it's really hard for me to keep the messages. I'm trying my best not to delete the messages. Because I want the messages to be there. I don't know. Like um, in the past like I had like uh, so-called friends. Who used to like dump their trauma on me. And you know like use my WhatsApp as their diary, diary entry. And you know dump their shit on me. So that's when I got into the habit of deleting messages because I didn't want those messages on my phone. So I kept deleting messages, deleting messages and it became a habit. And I'm like trying to break that habit. Yeah. So these days no one does that because I have my boundaries in place. So what I'm doing is I'm keeping the messages. I'm trying my best to keep the messages because I want the messages to be there. Yeah. So uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, but I keep deleting it. I'm trying my best not to do that. You know, like, I'm just trying. And I'm trying to challenge my anxiety by keeping the messages, keeping the notification. And uh, regarding notification, what I do is, in my phone, the best thing that I did in my phone is, like, I muted everything. Yeah, I mute everything. Um, uh, WhatsApp chat, everything is muted. Um all the notification in all the apps are muted and um, only the gmail and text messages are the only notification that i get on my phone and uh, you know if i open an app like audible or spotify i get that on my notification tab but um, everything else is muted because uh, i need the gmail and uh, text messages because i get otps right and i cannot like open that and read the otp so i kept that only for that everything else is muted on my phone because um i hate it when i get notification you know like the ting 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 <laughs> yeah i hate that so i muted everything 
if i want to read messages i'll open whatsapp and read message but i don't want to get the notification of uh, messages <laughs> yeah so that's what i've done and on whatsapp the best thing that i did is uh, i uh, turned off the blue tick um i turned off the online uh, sh- last seen online and all those things i turned off everything on whatsapp like i don't really get anything on whatsapp like yeah so uh, the thing the thing is that i don't like have to like worry about replying someone like after seeing their message instantly because i can reply it on my own terms you know like when i'm free i can reply the message so that's what i do uh, that's why i've turned it off i've turned off everything on whatsapp i've turned off all my notification <laughs> yeah so that kind of helps me it keeps me in a bit uh, better place um, see i know my mind a lot so i try to do things according to that so uh, i've been like recently challenging my anxiety and doing things out of my comfort zone so that i can um, you know like do things you know like i don't want to be like chained by my anxiety on my bed and you know always be inside my room and not do anything i just want to challenge my anxiety and do the things which makes me anxious and be uncomfortable and get over that get over that anxiety so that's what i'm doing yeah so that's what i wanted to tell you okay <laughs> yeah so let's go let's go out hi guys i'm back home oh you can't see me why is it so blur fuck um yeah so i'm back home why is it so blur i don't know yeah this is much better so i'm back home out oh, i came back long back i finished my work and i was just chilling yeah so um i uh, saw this on in a video by ali abdal that when you um get an idea in your mind and you want to speak about it or if you want to write about it or something just note down that idea in notes app in your phone because once you get an idea after some time it's going to like just go you know <laughs> yeah because you're going to think about something else and you're just going to forget it so um when you get something valuable in your mind just write it down in notes app so that's what i've been following since i saw the video by ali abdal so every single time i get an idea in my mind i just write it down in my notes app and once i finish talking about it or finish writing about it i just delete it yeah so that's what i've been doing it's a very very useful tip that i saw by him yeah and also i was thinking like uh why am i saying poetry is my new found love because i've been listening to taylor swift since forever like so many years and her music her songs are kind of like poetry yeah it's kind of similar yeah so I think poetry is not my new found love. I've always loved poetry because of Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I want to talk about and I wanted to show you my wallet. Like um I wanted to show you my um like what's in my wallet. <laughs> yeah, because I have nothing else to do and say. So I'll show you I have this thing hanging on my wallet this is the Harry Potter keychain which has beautiful in it Yeah Harry Potter because I am Harry Potter <laughs> Yeah and I have this friendship bracelet which I hanging on my wallet So I'll tell you what's written on it it's written dragons castle traffic lights and pirates Did you guess? Yeah, it's from Taylor Swift songs. Uh, she talks about dragons, you know, right? Like in Long Live, and Castle. She talks about um, in um, call it what you want. 
and traffic lights death by doubt death by thousand cuts pirates uh she talks about it in her song seven so i just wanted that so i just made that and i put that as my keychain <laughs> yeah so it's gonna be there forever and also i wanted to show you something that i always always keep in my wallet so i have a middle partition where i keep this ohm yeah i found this outside forum uh, outside forum a man was selling it it's ceramic it's ohm because i like the song deva deva <laughs> yeah so and uh, my favorite god is krishna but um, i like ohm as well because of the song deva deva from brahmastra <laughs> yeah so i i bought a ohm and i keep it as a lucky thing in my wallet and also i keep this 100 rupee note which was given to me by my dad yeah so on some really special day he gave it to me so i keep this in my wallet always and another thing that i keep in my wallet is this 10 paise i think i already showed it to you this 10 paise uh, it's dated 1989 <laughs> yeah so it's my lucky 10 paise so i keep these three things in my wallet and always and there will always be this uh, credit by blossoms uh, because i'm always returning books buying books so i ha have this in my wallet all the time this credit uh, credit coupon from blossoms book house yeah it's always in my wallet <laughs> yeah so this is something that i always carry in my wallet and there's just like cards and stuff which i think you won't be interested in nice right <laughs> yeah so that's what i wanted to show you um uh, yeah so i don't know what this vlog is about i'm just like rambling something thank you for watching my vlogs no matter what i say <laughs> yeah so i think i'll uh, take a video tomorrow because i have nothing much to say today I'll probably uh, go for a walk, have dinner, read, listen to music and all those stuff. Yeah, I've been listening to All Too Well, 10 minutes, 10 minute version, um, Sad Girl Autumn, that one, <laughs> since I got back home on repeat. Yeah, so I don't know. I think it's that kind of mood today. <laughs> yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. morning it's the next day and i am um, listening to half top of playlist and reading my book i haven't been reading this because i was reading poetry um i read one chapter that's it um so i uh, let me just stop the music oh my god i can't talk when the music is on yeah so the heart stopper playlist is so good. Uh, I listen to it when I have anxiety. Um, I listen to it when I'm reading. I listen to it when I'm working. <laughs> yeah, I'm always listening to it. Um, so uh, what did I want to tell you? So I want to tell you like Spotify has introduced audiobooks um, on its app. But it's not there in India, which is like the worst part because I cannot absolutely live without Spotify premium membership. I always need a premium premium membership on Spotify and uh, and YouTube as well. I cannot live without that. So I already have a premium membership on Spotify. So if they introduce audiobooks in India, it will be like the best thing ever for me because I already have a premium membership. And I cannot live without a premium membership. So it would be like the best thing if they could introduce it in India. But they haven't. So what can I do? Um, till they decide to do that, I will listen to Audible. Um, 
and I think uh, Amazon is like the best thing that's happened to book readers because they introduced Kindle, they introduced Audible, they introduced uh, like you can buy books on Amazon you'll get it the same day or the next day like the next day yeah you don't really have to travel it's like the best thing that's happened to book readers you know Amazon um yeah so that's what I wanted to say and um, what else did I want to say mm. Yeah, so, um, that's all people, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'll do today, it, it's just a chill day, it's going really chill as it's supposed to, I wanted to watch the Era Store movie again, but um, it's not there in the theater I always go to, they have removed it, I don't know why they removed it so soon, but they have removed it. So I cannot like watch that movie again. It's just sad because first time I was just crying because um, I don't know. I was so happy and I was so messed up because of Chandler's death and all that. So I was a bit sad the first time. I wanted to watch it again and like watch it like happy happy but it's not there in the theater. So I cannot do anything. Um, and I'm so happy for Taylor these days because... She found Travis. I'm really, really happy they found each other and they seem really, really cute together and really happy together and just so, so happy to see her like that. And yeah, just really happy for her. And also, uh, yeah, I wanted to tell you like um, the song Dear Reader. Oh my God, I look so... Uh, plain with my hair like this and no lipstick <laughs> what can I do yeah so what I was wanted to tell you is that I uh, when I listened to dear reader the first time um, in that song there's this line which I wanted to tell you it's like uh, dear reader you don't have to answer just because they asked you yeah and when i first listened to that song and i when i heard that line i was like it kind of blew my mind i was like wow what was i doing all my life i mean answering questions and i didn't know you don't have to answer just because they asked you and it kind of blew my mind i'm like oh my god i'm so stupid like i yeah sometimes I'm so stupid I like some things I really don't know like she was like you don't have to answer just because they asked you and I was like yes I don't have to answer just because they asked me and I was like yes what was I doing all my life <laughs> yeah so in my 30 uh, I'm 32 now but when I listened to it I was 31 and in my 31 years of life I didn't know that you don't have to answer just because they asked you you know, like, and there's another line in that. Uh, uh, dear reader, bend when you can, snap when you have to. It's like she's uh, giving us the permission to snap when we have to. And uh, that is so comforting because, you know, like every single time I snap, I get tend to feel guilty and I guilt trip myself that I got angry. And I'll be like, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, like, I kind of become like that. But then when I listen to that song and she's, like, giving me permission to snap when I have to. You know, like, it's it's actually a really good song. <laughs> yeah. So, I really like that song. Yeah. So, that's what I wanted to tell you. And one of my friend likes Rajma Chawal. And he was talking about it and I felt like eating it so badly. <laughs> yeah and I um, made my mom make it I ordered Rajma and asked my mom to make it and I ate and I'm so happy <laughs> yeah so I had Rajma Chawal for lunch I had direct lunch I didn't have breakfast today <laughs> yeah so that's what's happening so that's all people I really want a bracelet 
yeah so i really want a bracelet like i see rachel catherine uh, wearing a bracelet like she always has this regular bracelet that she wears um i always noticed that and i really wanted that and i have this tattoo on my breast right like heart stopper leaves can you see heart stopper leaves on my breast and if i wear a bracelet uh, like along with that tattoo it will look so good so i uh, i want a gold bracelet so i i'm like telling my mom let's just go and buy a gold bracelet i mean it will like complement my tattoo you know like and uh, i really want to wear that like because all the artificial bracelets that i get it keeps breaking yeah it doesn't like stay you know like it keeps breaking so what can i do so i want like a proper bracelet a gold bracelet so probably i'll go get it this weekend i'm not sure um let's see so that's the plan i don't know what this vlog is it just like me rambling about things and just talking about random stuff <laughs> yeah oh my god i look uh so plain <laughs> yeah that's because i'm not wearing lipstick it's okay it's just you guys <laughs> yeah so that's what's happening mm. I'm so fucking tired <laughs> yeah so um yeah it takes a really long time to do the bill and stuff oh my god okay so uh i'm just happy that i uh bought the bracelet really happy i wanted a chain uh like a really long chain with a b um pendant because Magnolia has the same chain. She wears a really uh, long chain with a ring. I have no one to give me a ring, <laughs> so I wanted uh, like a long chain with a B pendant on it. But they didn't have the B pendant, you know. Yeah, so they didn't have it. So yeah, so I just bought this bracelet, and I'm so happy. Uh, I'm really happy. <laughs> 
yeah so um really happy yeah so um i guess i'll just edit my vlogs and post a video now i don't really have a picture to uh put as a thumbnail i forgot to take a picture it's okay <laughs> it's really okay um so i guess i'll just end my vlog here <laughs> it is nice talking to you nice spending some time with you and telling you my thoughts it's always a pleasure <laughs> yeah so i'll come back with another video sometime soon until then please do subscribe like share and comment because it's all free and it'll make me happy so um i'll see you again with another video sometime soon bye